Hey guys, today we have two phones, a Sony Xperia Z2 from 2014 and a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra from 2020. They're both capable of recording in 4K, allegedly, I would say, because that's something I can't really calculate here except for the information that I have in front of me right here. And uh, they're different in so many ways, obviously, this one goes up to 4G LTE, this one goes 5G, which is, you know, the difference of the years. And uh, this one has a 16 gigs internal memory with 3 gigs of RAM. This one has a 256 gigs of memory with uh, 12 gigs of RAM, which right out of the gate, we are talking about quite big differences. Cameras are as well different. So when we're talking about between these two phones, we're talking about cameras that even visually are different. As you see on the back of each, this one, yes, I broke the back of it a little bit. So that's, that's it. This one is supposed to have a 108 megapixel camera at max 4320p. And this one has a 20 megapixel camera at 2160p, but both are supposed to go at 4K. On the front, the screens are obviously different as well, with uh, Samsung being 6.9 inches, 1440 by 3088 pixels, and the Sony at 5.2 inches at 1080 by 1920 pixels. And the batteries are as well different, with a Samsung being 45 milliamp hours and the Sony 32 milliamp hours. Now, I wanted to make this video only comparing their 4K ability. We all know that Samsung has that ability, but Sony says it has it as well. If you go to the camera here on the Sony and you click the options right here, you will see that it has a 4K options, as you see right there, if you click that. Now it should be shooting in 4K. As you see, the camera is on, and uh, I'll show you some video how they perform in both aspects respectively. And uh, let's go ahead and, and as you see here on your left of the screen is Samsung, and on the right of the screen is Sony. And let's take a look at the Samsung, which the video quality is really high and it looks really good, even though the weather today is, is overcast and not really sunny and I'm in the woods. So just to give it a chance to kind of equalize with the Sony. And if you take a look at Sony's video as well, it does a good job with a frame rate to some point. We're talking about both shooting at 4K 30 frames. As you see, Sony somehow has kind of a, not a blurriness, but a color tone that is just less than great for what you would expect from a company as Sony. But we're talking about a five year, six year almost difference between them two. And now, Let's take a quick look at their ability on audio or audio recording. And uh, you will hear first from Samsung's audio quality and then from Sony's audio quality while recording 4K video at 30 frames per second. And this is a sound test. Both these shots were or are being shot actually on the same hands and I'm trying to take the same shots and the microphones are active in both of them and uh, I don't know how the end results are gonna be but we shall see about that one and, yeah. and this is a sound test both these shots were or are being shot actually on the same hands and I'm trying to take the same shots and the microphones are active in both of them. And uh, I don't know how the end results are gonna be, but we shall see about that one. And now let's take a look at just two pictures that are shot by Samsung and Sony respectively. And here is a picture shot on the Samsung. And here's a picture shot on the Sony. 
And as you see, soda is not that bad, but still has that, that color tone thing that drags it back, even though it's supposed to be shooting at the same quality in paper. And after watching all that, these are the two phones that we just uh, took a look today. What a difference six years can make in uh, phone camera technology and audio technology. And as I said, this is the Samsung Note 20 Ultra 5G from 2020 which is my daily driver and this is the sony xperia z2 that was my daily driver back then when i bought it it was top of the line back then but now years take their toll on both of them and uh, they're both actually functioning right now i can throw a sim card on this sony and it will work right away but there is not much that i can do with it especially when you get used with a samsung and uh, you know the rest of the drop things just change and yeah before i forget the chipset on the sony was a snapdragon qualcomm snapdragon 801 which is actually not a bad chipset at all at all on the samsung the other hand we have a qualcomm snapdragon 865 5g and this is yes the usa model not the Exynos. So with that said, we will see you the next time. And yes, don't let your Xperia Z2 die down. There's a lot of life left on these ones. And they're still actually really good phones. And bye! <laughs>